welcome to the Dave Trumbo Show. I'm Greg Royce, joined by the head coach of the Stevenson women's volleyball team, Dave Trumbo. And coach, you guys had a busy week at five matches and all. Um, let's start and talk about um, your conference open against Messiah here at home, a 3 nothing win. Talk a little bit about that game. Well, I think the, one of the great things about that match was we had a huge crowd, mm -hmm. and they were loud, and our, our girls really just seemed like they wanted to put the ball through the floor to get the crowd excited, yeah. and we just were a little bit nervous uh, and uh, did not play extremely well in the first two sets. Good enough to win, but just yeah. and in the third set, we started to get it in gear and had some fun out there on the court, and so I just wanted to thank all the uh, teams that supported us, you know, men's ice hockey, um, you know, there were so many of them there, you know, oh, yeah. men's, men's volleyball. Uh, so it was a great start for us. Masai is a very good team, so it was nice to get a win. Yeah. You talked about, and we talked a little bit after the match last week, is like you said, there was some nerves there in the beginning, and you kind of improved as the, as the match went on. And that's kind of been uh, the way it's been. Uh, yeah. We had so much competition for different spots. We mm -hmm. really haven't had our starting lineup together for very long. Right. Uh, so we seem to be start out a little slow, and then we just play better the, the longer the night goes on. Yeah. And what does it mean to, um, you know, obviously to start off your conference slate with a win, just to not be 0-1 and, and be 1-0 and – well, that's a huge. Yeah, <laughs> it, obviously, it, it is huge, and thankfully, it's happened uh, six years yeah. that we've been able to get that first victory, uh, and um, I, you know, it, it definitely sends a message to the rest of the conference because everybody's gunning for us. That's for sure, yeah. and they're going to see well, what does Stevenson look like this year, and because everybody's trying to take us down. Yeah, absolutely, and you've had that target on your back for a while now, and you know they're going to keep coming. So, right, and we don't even talk about it. Yeah, I'm um, sure. <laughs> and then look ahead, and then we go ahead to uh, the weekend. You travel up to Muhlenberg for the Buttermaker Tournament. Um, had a real tough match on Friday night against mm -hmm. the host. Um, you were down 2 nothing, down 22-20 in the third set. Rally to win, um, to stay undefeated. Talk a little bit about that match and just the emotion of that. Well, that was um, – we had SUNY Cortland early, mm -hmm. and, um, and we played pretty good. You know, and but then we had Muhlenberg, and we'd watch a lot of tape in Muhlenberg, and we thought they, we knew they were good, but boy, they were phenomenal. That yeah. you know, for those, about two ma two sets plus you know the first fifteen points, they yeah. were really really good, and uh, thankfully we were able to you know we were down twenty two twenty, and the game was in their hands, and we were able to score five straight points, and uh, and that really kind of sent them for a loop, and then yeah. we then we you know that was a great confidence boost for us, and then the fourth set was. Um, it was a runaway. So, yeah. which I feel like if you've got to win three in a row, you've got to have one of them that, that's an easy. Right. Either you're not so tense and it's not so close all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, fifth set, uh, kind of the same thing. We switched sides of the court at eight five, uh, but by that time, um, you know, we we were really feeling pretty good about ourselves, and you know, was, and we're getting it from all. You know, our, our pin hitters are just you know, Messiah. I mean, excuse me, Mariah. I think put up 16 kills, and Annika had 13, and Katie Leffridge had 10, and Lauren Weaver had 11, and so we yeah. really had a good night. Yeah, I mean, like you said, the emotion. It's really hard to win three close sets in a row, just because, you know, you get to 22, 22, 23, 23. You know, anything can happen at exactly. that point. And it's really, it's really hard to try to pull out three straight, basically coin flips. Mm-hmm. It, it, it is, and that's why you got to have that one easy, easier game yeah. to kind of relax and say, you know, and uh, kind of catch your breath and know, you know, you're in, you're in this match and you and you're going to win it. Yeah, um, you talked to me about a few of your upper class, obviously Mariah, Annika, Annika, um, you know, Lauren Weaver, um, Kay Leftridge is one that's really stepped up over the first couple of weeks of the season, kind of taking her game to another level as a sophomore. Yeah, I'm thinking back. I think it was Katie that had 18 kills that game. I, think. I believe so. Yeah. 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 She, yeah. Because I'm, I'm. All the games are kind of. Yeah. Uh, mix, mixed together, but yeah, I think Katie had 14, 40 attempts and eighteen kills that game. So, uh, yes, because we. I remember saying she had a coming out party. Yeah. <laughs> on the bus on the way home, couldn't be happier for somebody that basically played behind a senior last year, mm -hmm. worked really hard, knew that position was open, and came in and, and said, you know, I want to win it. Yeah. And has done a phenomenal job, and she's just added to our rep. You know, our offense. Yeah. Um, now looking ahead, switch gears, look ahead to this week, another tough schedule starting uh, tomorrow night. You travel down to Marymount, a team that beat you on your home floor last year. I'm sure there's a little bit of revenge the girls are looking for going into that one. Yeah, I don't think they're going to look past Marymount this yeah. year. And Marymount can have a very tough crowd. Yeah. Uh, they know some of our players. Um, so that's that's going to be a good match. Uh, 
on their floor, and you know, and of course they were already we we're already talking about how they beat us last year. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, that was a time where we were reeling. We had mm-hmm. lost four matches in a row, and a, we had a really tough weekend against some great opponents. And then we came and Mary Mount was on fire. Yeah, and like you know, everybody's fired up to play us. And they Mary Mount, not to take anything away from them, they played phenomenal that night. We just didn't play good enough. Yeah. And then looking ahead to the weekend, um, you traveled to Susquehanna for a tournament. Um, the big match there, Carnegie Mellon on Saturday. Well, Susquehanna's not too bad nope. either. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And we got them on Friday night, yep. and they just beat number seven, Mary Wash. Okay. And they beat Mary Washington over the weekend. So, and Susquehanna, and a lot of these teams, are their records are deceiving. Susquehanna right now is four and four, but they beat the number seven team in the right. country. Uh, and if they beat another really good team this weekend. This is a pivotal weekend for us, Greg, because we're going to really find out how good we really are. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we, with Carnegie Mellon, I'm sure they were ranked 24th last week. I'm, I'm thinking, and they are, I believe, 9-0, and so they're probably going to be around 20th, I'm mm-hmm. thinking, this week. Uh, and then we play SUNY Brockport on Saturday as well, mm-hmm. back-to-back. Yeah. Uh, the <laughs> only school that's playing back-to-back matches that day. <laughs> but uh, SUNY Brockport went to Sweet 16 last year. Yeah. So this, you know, I will try and schedule one really, really difficult weekend. So this yeah. is it. So we're going to see how we fare this year. But it's also on the flip side. Obviously, it's very difficult. But if you come out of the weekend, you know, not to look ahead, but if you come out two and one, or you know, if you really do well three and zero, oh, you know, that's when people across the country will probably start taking notice a little bit. We're not going to get in the top twenty-five by beating teams that aren't in the top twenty-five. Right. So we've got to beat teams that are in the top twenty-five if we want to be there. And so that's that's what this weekend is all about. Uh, but we have to get past Marymount first. Yeah, obviously. Um, well, thanks a lot, Coach. Uh, best of luck this week, and we'll see you back. Here next week, um, for Dave Trumbo, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Trumbo Show.